What's going on, y'all? That boy Gam back in the building, tapping in with y'all one more time. Today, I just wanted to get on here and do a reaction to Rob Snyder giving his thoughts about Will Smith right now in the present day. Rob Snyder, if y'all don't know, that was Deuce Bigelow, the male gigolo, that movie that came out. And he also was in a whole lot of Adam Sandler movies. He was in the Zohan and the uh, Bedtime Story. All Adam Sandler movies, he was pretty much in. And he had shared his thoughts about Will Smith recently. Because, you know, Will Smith, he got his name out again. Bad Boys, uh, him and Martin. They say, I heard it was a good movie. I haven't seen it, but I heard that it was a good movie. So, you know, he getting some positive spotlight on him right now. Will Smith, which, you know, I feel pretty happy for him. He was having it pretty rough for a while, so it's good to see him have a little bit of positivity on his name. But this is what something I came across that I thought was pretty interesting when he shared his thoughts about Will Smith. Uh, so I'm going to just play it for you. Do you ever speak to Chris Rock after the slap? Because uh, he's your mate. Yeah, yeah. I, I would have been straight on the phone if it was my mate. Getting no, but I was, I was in a sticky situation. So let me just say that him and Chris Rock are close friends. So coming from the perspective of somebody who was close friends with Chris Rock. That was actually, you know, was an elected official of the union at the time. Oh. Will Smith is a twat. Oh, I liked him. He, Will Smith has been hiding the fact of who he really is, and it was exposed that night. That he's really an asshole. But he's a did, deep, right. dark thing. To do that in front of all those people, to a really great, legendary comedian, who's literally... See, now, do y'all think that that's true, that he really just hiding who he really was? Or did he just have a moment where he wasn't actually being himself? See, two ways to look at it. He looking at it like that was always who he was, and it just came out. But I believe that people can be at a breaking point, and sometimes they might do something out of character. It don't mean always mean that that's who they always was. Don't always mean that. But that's that's the perspective that he's looking at it from. It's comedian of our generation. Sure. You wouldn't have, like, uh, this whole wave of comedy that came after if it wasn't for Chris Rock. He's kicked open the doors. So for him to do that, but I wasn't allowed to say anything at that time because we were part of the committee. Right. was supposed to punish him. And how do you punish well, him? Well, well, wait, wait. Just back up a second. <laughs> Hang on. I want to know Will what Smith is. is, like, for me, when I met him, right, I, I always like say... Like the nicest, yes. the most wonderful. He's a yeah. liar complete utter fraud really it was exposed in that time okay we all thought in that time oh he was under all this pressure though right? I didn't, it was, oh, it was thought, a I didn't under pressure oh, well, I, Kyle, you know, Kyle's you know, been under pressure you've been under pressure interesting you say that about no Will, no Will is, is, is a douchebag and that that's something that you can't the thing is that's how politically correct the Academy is right. that they were so cowardly because if I would have done that they would have been hauled out to prison because like they were so worried about being you know racist or whatever they were like we can't be the, the point is violence is what it is and whether who what the color of your skin or the your, you know your religion doesn't sure, matter sure. if you commit a crime in front of other people you get hauled out of there yeah, but didn't you also sort of think oh he's standing up for his missus i mean so one thing i will give him though is it is will smith so i don't know if just anybody could have got away with doing that like just based off of the stat from a status aspect that is Will Smith, man. So he get a, he got away with something that a lot of people probably wouldn't have got away with. That's that's true. I'll give him that. You didn't like that? It doesn't matter. You can't hit another dude. If he's standing up for your missus, it's a joke. And like I, I, I also thought it was a very mild joke. And it was uh, that... Quite a slap, there. though, right? Quite a, quite a slap. It, I mean, it was so much. I mean, I literally was... I forget what it was because I wasn't watching it. I was in Mexico directing a film, mm. and my... That uh, sounds sus. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my wife wrote it. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's called good. The More is the More, and it's a nice movie, actually. But the... Um, in Spanish. In Espanol, por supuesto. And, but the thing was, I was in a car, and my... Uh, the, the, uh, my assistant director, she looked at me, and she said... Uh, she said... I th I, she said, what happened? I said, um, 
Chris Rock just got slapped by Will Smith and I said, get out of here, it didn't happen. I didn't make the phone calls and it did happen. Wow. He didn't want to talk to anybody, I don't blame him. Yeah, I get that. You know, but but also like it took him a while. Man, I couldn't believe it was real either. <laughs> I didn't see it when it happened. Somebody was somebody sent it to me. I woke up the next morning and I just saw Will Smith walking down stage and slapping Chris Rock. I'm thinking like I thought it was a skit or something. You know, or I thought somebody did it, like some AI or something. They made it look that way. But just to find out that it was real and it wasn't, it wasn't a skit. It was actually real. That was crazy. I'm not going to lie. But I'll still rock with Will Smith, man. I don't feel like just because you do something, you have a moment, don't mean now all the good that you did get wiped away. Like, Man, we didn't see Will Smith grow up and be this positive figure basically all his life. You know, sometimes people have a breaking point. Nice people also can snap sometimes. Like, it happens. And I feel like that was a moment for him. I don't know how it ended up being that, you know, him and Jada having some issues. And it just, it just blew up right there in that moment and he was tripping <laughs> yeah but i don't think that he need to be now everything good he ever did was fake or he was a lie and he nah i don't really believe that but everybody got their own opinion man so y'all let me know what y'all think about it um y'all go check this out uh say rob snyder blast will smith and radio rant so yeah man y'all check that out um, y'all subscribe to the channel till next time y'all get I'm tapping up.